TikTokers are now running an illegal dentist scam. This is 100% illegal and we need to talk about it before you fall victim to spending $2,000 for a bright white smile. Calling themselves professionals with only two days of training. There are certain people offering two day courses on how to do veneers on real people. And the worst part of all is that these veneer techs are making thousands and thousands of dollars a week. Ladies and gentlemen, TikTok is such a great app to find all the things wrong with our society. Like how on earth are TikTokers claiming that they are dentists? and charging 1.5k for a fresh set of veneers. <laughs> right, okay, more like a fresh set of shit. Here's one account that does veneers. Look at the patient's teeth. It's literally rotting to its core. Oh yeah, they don't fix that, by the way. No, no, no. They just slap a shiny white tooth over it. Almost like the same way that you would polish a turd. Now that is one account we'll be taking a look at later. But there's also another veneer tech which we'll be taking a look at who has this fake certificate and it's just absolutely wild. A couple of weeks ago, this guy was on a show trying to fuck Adam 22's wife and now he's a certified veneer tech. And someone's even come out on TikTok and spoke about how they were scammed massively by these veneer techs. So this account we're going to look at is an account called Rel Styles on TikTok. Now, I don't believe these people are qualified at all to give people veneers. And then you'll be thinking, wow, Curtis, that's really bad. They're doing veneers for people and they're not even certified to do so. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. But guess what? They're also trying to teach other people how to do veneers. <laughs> When you realize you can make over 5k a week being a veneer tech. And in this TikTok, she proceeds to show some sort of bullshit certificate and a bunch of cash. <laughs> but this veneer tech course only takes 48 hours. <laughs> it's gonna cost you $3,500 and this is what you learn apparently. All about composite veneers, pre-treatment communication, proper sterilization, marketing and branding, step-by-step -step techniques, how to take pictures. Oh, f***ing brilliant. I always wanted to learn how to take pictures. And after you completed the class, you get a full kit certificate of completion and vendor list. $3,500 for 48 hours of training to be fully qualified. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I would never pay some- oh, hang on a second, brunch is included. <laughs> I stand corrected. Perhaps I will join. Are you ready to learn my tips and tricks in action? More like here's my tips and tricks on how to scam people and get away with doing something illegal. But ladies and gentlemen, go ahead if you want to. Take the course, start making 5k a week, and I promise you this, you are one smelly infection away from being sued big time. Oh, and you thought that was bad. Well, how about learning to become a fully qualified cosmetic dentist without ever leaving your home? <laughs> Learn how to make 5k a week, the virtual veneer class, what you will learn, proper sanitation, all about veneers, who's a good candidate, composite placement, pre-treatment communications, sales and marketing, all from the comfort of your own home. So you're gonna teach me how to do professional, complicated dental work through a screen, and you're gonna do this in 48 hours. Sign me up. I could give my nan a fresh pair of chompers by Thursday. And, and also what you will learn, who's a good candidate. So now class, let's talk about how to spot a good candidate. Firstly, ensure that your patient is a complete f***ing idiot and that they give you permission to use dental tools which have been ordered off Timu. You can't be a certified cosmetic dentist within 48 hours. That is the most bollocks thing I've ever heard in my life. With one Google search, it literally says you need four years of a bachelor degree four years extra at a dental school, and also you need to obtain a dental license. These people, well, they're just printing their certificates from Photoshop. Wow, thank you for booking me an appointment to get my veneers done. It's so cheap. How on earth are you qualified? Well, uh, between me and you, I actually just went on TikTok, signed up for a virtual veneer course that only took me two days, and now I'm fully qualified. <laughs> you did it, it, you did it, a course for 48 hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Worst part of all, ladies and gentlemen, you should see how some of these quote-unquote dentists are giving their patients veneers. I'm talking plastering veneers over teeth that are literally rotting to the core. I mean, that shit's stanky. <laughs> it's gotten so out of control that even real dentists are now coming on TikTok and calling these people out and you won't believe what they have to say. But I do want to read this to you quickly. Dentists are the only one who are legally allowed to perform veneer work. So veneer techs are playing a risky game with patients' health. Since they may lack the proper knowledge on sterilization and dental health that formerly trained dentists have. Kyap kyak. <laughs> what these illegal techs can be criminally charged with practicing medicine without a license, which is a felony in most states, and patients can also sue them for assault and battery if their dental work goes wrong. As I said already, these people are one mistake away from being criminally charged and possibly being sued. And there's also this other count which calls themselves the most wanted tooth fairy. And these people are literally plastic plastering veneers on top of decaying teeth. Go to an actual dentist, this is illegal. I mean, 100% it's illegal. And even after his fresh set of chompers, I know my guy's breath is filthy still. Now let's see what an actual qualified dentist had to say about this. I'm not trying to be dramatic and I'm not trying to put down veneer text, but like people are just not thinking two steps ahead because once these are on, who's gonna take them off? 
Like this guy has decay all over his teeth and he got composite veneers placed right on top by a veneer tech. And I'm not hating on it because it's a pretty dramatic change, but yo, those are just plastered on top of decay. We don't do that. That can cause so many problems and infections. You will be hard pressed to find a real licensed dentist who can pick up a handpiece to remove these because it's just Pandora's box. So all these people who are getting composite veneers that will stain, I guarantee you, within five years, who's going to take them off for you? Because those same veneer techs are going to be nowhere to be found because they don't have a license to operate. They have no license. A veneer tech is not an actual certification. It's a made up certification. Because it's made up, they can't do the things that dentists do, like pick up hand pieces and drill off old arts and crafts. I totally agree. And if something does end up going wrong, I can guarantee you this, these veneer techs will be nowhere to be seen. Guys, all it takes from these people is one mistake, one infection and they're done. They will be charged with assault and battery. Look, and I do understand where people are coming from. Not everybody has enough money for actual veneers done by a proper dentist. I know it can be really expensive, like literally like $500 a tooth. But honestly, it's just not worth it. I'd much rather keep my own teeth than go to someone who's taken a 48 hour course from TikTok. Do you know what I mean? Like, why would I do that? Who on earth in my- Oh, crap. Hello? Sorry. Like, who on earth in their right mind is going to do that? And these patients who are going to get their veneers done from these fake dentists, do I even feel sorry for them? I don't think so. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, it turns out that it's not just their certificate that's fake. Their veneers are too. <laughs> and you know it's bad when veneers are already fake as it is. But to double it up with a fake, fake veneer, it doesn't get much worse than that. Yeah, it turns out that they get their veneer teeth from Timu. <laughs> Yo, talk about Walmart veneers. These guys could literally go to the dollar store and pick up a new fresh set for themselves. So I took it upon myself after getting this to check Timu, and you were right. This is what they're using, $1.98. This is what they're putting on people's teeth with God knows what type of chemicals to bond it there. Or should I say glue it? Here we go, $2.48, it looks like some premolars. Here's the instruments that are using that are going to transmit HIV and AIDS to every single patient because these cannot be sterilized, nor do they have anything to sterilize them, $3.00. And here is the burr that they're using to grind down tooth surface. That's also going to transmit deadly infections. Confidence after the service is what keeps me going. This is rampant decay. This is a person that is very, very, very likely to already have abscesses all throughout the mouth from untreated dental care. Yo, she even said that these tools that these people are using cannot be sterilized and can transfer infections. I mean, it's just like... It's just wild. It's just, it's just, what the f No, man. Timu, really? I mean, seriously? Do you reckon they use print stick as well to put the veneers on? <laughs> I'd be leaving the veneer tech's living room with teeth like Gollum. I'd probably contract a deadly infection and look like that dude from Robocop 1. I mean, this is obviously so illegal. How are we living in this society when it only takes two days to become a qualified dentist? What is going on? Now, as I mentioned, someone was scammed out of their money also, and they posted a TikTok about it. And what apparently happened is she booked her flight, she paid for the hotel, she paid a deposit, and upon turning up to the appointment, the dentist was nowhere to be seen. She literally had to DM the veneer tech and be told that her appointment was cancelled because someone had stolen the machine out of his office. <laughs> someone had stolen his machine. His words, by the way. Yo, sorry, I know you paid the deposit. I know you flew all the way here, but someone's stolen my machine. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, let's just take a look at the TikTok in question. So on the day of my appointment, I show up early because I'm not familiar with Atlanta like that. So I show up to make sure I am on time. When I get there, both of the doors to his suite is locked. So I sit at a chair that's next to his suite and I'm sending him an Instagram message at the same time. He's sending me a message too. Someone stole my whole ever machine out of my room. I'm going to have to refund you and pay you for your flight. And I'm like, hey, I'm up here. The door is locked. Do I need to knock on the door? Then this is us messaging at the same exact time, okay? And I'm like, excuse me? What do you mean your machine was stolen out, out, out of your room? You can't do my teeth. So I'm like, you won't hear from me no more. Just go ahead and, you know, send me my money. He goes on to say he don't need my money and so on and so forth. Well, then where is my deposit? 
So he sends me this screenshot saying that the deposit is going to be sent back to my card. I have yet to receive the deposit. Have not received anything since. So I reached back out to him to be like, hey, do you know how long it's going to take for my deposit to come back on my card? What's going on? He blocks me. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, why would a real dentist block a patient? For a little bit of a spoiler alert real quick, she still has yet to receive the refund for a deposit. She followed up with another TikTok explaining the situation that she still hasn't received it. But surely, ladies and gentlemen, a real cosmetic dentist wouldn't do this. Surely he wouldn't scam his patient. Well, unfortunately, he did. But, my unhinged family, the story goes a little bit deeper. <laughs> did somebody really steal his machine? Well, let's find out. Some lady that was at his suite said that she worked with him before and he was never on time or he would not show up. She would end up, end up having to take his clients. And then she's told me that he only does mixed breeds and light-skinned women's teeth. Now, I'm not dark or whatever, but when I go on his page, it all makes sense because there's only one girl that's my skin color on that page. So I'm like, that's what we doing? You only doing veneers for it to be aesthetic, but not to, you know, make somebody's life or change somebody's life by doing some work? So it turns out his machine wasn't actually stolen then. He was just being racist to his own race? I mean, it's... it's that a possible thing? <laughs> this is obvious. He's probably done the 48 hour course. That's what it is, isn't he? That's what he's done. What? I can't be asked. I can't. I'm so done, man. I'm just gonna stick my head in the fridge for an hour. <laughs> As I mentioned, there's this Instagram account who somehow has a veneer tech certificate and it's absolutely hilarious because going through this guy's account it's like he just magically spawned in as like a veneer tech it's like he referred back to the character customization menu removed some points from charisma and added it to dental knowledge this so this guy is called the lucky seven and he's a veneer tech <laughs> brilliant <laughs> And here's him sitting there looking like a toy soldier. People even said in the comment section, I hope you go to prison. Not jail, but prison. <laughs> Need to show your dentistry degree. That certificate is nothing. This is a whole scam. Well, yeah, no shit, obviously. Ah, to be fair though, this guy probably put himself through school, didn't he? As in the 48 hour TikTok course. Oh yeah, check this video out. Is this guy literally doing veneer text out of his garage? <laughs> what the f is going on. But after looking at this guy's profile, it's obvious that he took a 48 hour course. I mean, by looking at his track record, one minute he's making music, the second minute he's trying to have sex with Adam22's wife, and now he's a veneer tech. Come off it, pal, will you? Lot of nonsense, mate. So if you don't know, Adam22 and his wife, they're doing some very strange stuff. They're basically trying to get a guy to have sex with his wife. And they started a show, basically, where they just had, like, a, a bunch of guys come on the show and in, uh, interviewing to see who's good enough to have sex with his wife. And he was on that. He was on that show. You wouldn't see a dentist on a show like that, would you? Like, if he actually went through dental school, there's no way in hell he'd appear on this show. Second of all, he's making, like, drill and grime music in the past, so... Something tells me that he didn't go through dental school. Wow, I've seen it all now. I don't know if I want to show this on YouTube, but he sat there on a sofa with his pubic hair out. Jesus, mate, that's just cringe. Yeah, and he posts all this stuff, and then next second, he's a fucking veneer tech. A certified veneer tech come and get a seven-figure smile from the kid. Yeah, sounds like a proper dentist. Oh, you should go and get your veneers done. I know a perfect guy for it. Oh, yeah, I have thought about it. What's the, uh, what's the dentist's name? Oh, the, the, the dentist's name? His name's the kid. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we're clearly living in a fantasy world. I mean, why on earth is this happening? We don't know. I mean, th there's no way this guy's a dentist. There's no way any of them are dentists. This is illegal. Comment down below, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd ever go to a veneer tech to get your veneers done. Or would you just, like, not get them? Ever. Or maybe if you had enough money, go to a proper dentist. That's probably the best case scenario, right? But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to check out my other videos, this video right here is about a guy who refuses to shower. And this one's about Lily Jean, the girl who faked her life. She ducks me. 